Himizu is the Japanese word for discord, meaning a lack of order or conflicting ideas, and is written by combining the kanji for fire and water. And it is this word that comes to mind when exploring the themes of fire force. Its first episode sells itself on some impressive sakuga, combining effects for both water and fire, yet by episode 2, drops capitalizing on the conceit of the first generation firefighters using water-based tools and fantasy versions of traditional techniques for fire aesthetics instead. Second, in a media littered with skin-tight impossible clothing, Fire Force is brave enough to mainly sport bulky costume design befitting the firefighter profession, yet is in equal measure splashing a completely unnecessary, unprovoked, and unearned sexual fan service. Fun fact, frauterism is the word for having a sexual association with touching a non-consenting person in a sexual manner. It is sexual assault and must not be acted on lest you be held criminally responsible. No matter what anime decides to magically teleport your hand underneath the least supportive bikini top possible during a sporting event, at least let the character wear underwear when she is at her job. Third, the main character supposedly can only smile as a nervous smile when reacting to stressful situations, yet we are expected to believe that he smiles the same way when confidently striking down a foe, and can also make the social anxiety complex completely disappear when confronted with his rival from school, thus allowing him to charge up angry screaming while in front of his boss and co-workers. It feels like they wanted to mix popular character traits from Deku and Bakugo in My Hero Academia into one, but can't keep who Mr. Hero actually is in order. Like I said, Himizu. They aren't exploring the character of someone with social anxiety as their main character. They are just saying that it's there, then ignoring it when it's convenient. There are two saving graces that did, however, hold my interest enough to keep watching in spite of the show's immediate self-contradictions in characters and themes. First, the fantastic animation of fire, smoke, and anything that goes into this conceit of the fire aesthetic. So long as the show does not drop the sakuga on display here and can keep presenting it in new, interesting ways, there will always be a reason to watch this show. Second is the muscle-bound beauty Maki Oze who can throw down like the now and future badass you know she is. She's got more upper body flex than even the most ripped girls from this season's How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, a show literally about anime girls getting swole and making gains in the gym. And she isn't being held into any boxes either, expressing a full range of character traits, appreciation of cute things, romantic ideation, righteous anger, calm, confident, knowledgeable, and do not forget being a determined and intelligent fighter. Get this kind of lazy old school fan service out of my face, and give me more of this gun show. I wasn't the first to say it, and I won't be the last. If you don't like strong, muscular women, you're a coward. We need a word for characters like these. Tsuyodere, 2019, this year marks the rise of the strong, cute anime woman. Ultimately, what is really important for this channel with regards to Fire Force is whether I will be able to make an episode of Philos Anime about this show. Shonen action series normally offer a high likelihood of successful analysis because they are likely to have characters and dynamics be metaphors for different ideas and pitting them in conflict with others. My three-part series on My Hero Academia is the go-to example I have on this channel for how shonen action can have substantial messages and deliver them over time. But, in the spirit of Himizu, shonen action is just as likely to be ham-fisted and edgelordy to the point of nausea. Fire Force has already laid the groundwork to go in either direction, a world featuring conflicting ideas of government, business, and religious organization. It also seems to be haphazardly inserting tropes with no motivation other than marketing to middle school boys and their changing hormonal bodies. I believe that success or failure will hinge on the central mystery of spontaneous combustion 
and whether that reason gives the infernals a metaphorical significance. Will it be an abstract cause acting externally? Will it be a commentary on the ongoing issue of murderous life insurance or marriage dowry fraud known as kitchen fire murders that take place in some countries? Will it be a fuzzy nerd yelling about power, human evolution, Japanese swords, and how he'll never be as strong as his daddy? Who knows? But Fire Force shows potential. If you would like to see that analysis happen, please comment with any novel insights or messages you find that the show is trying to communicate in the comments section below. Also let me know if you'd like to see more first impression videos of seasonal anime like this one. I'm trying to keep it short so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button. The like button is the single most effective way this channel has right now to get this show in front of other interested viewers. If you would like to see more philosophical analyses of video games and anime, you can help the community grow by hitting the subscription bell. Thank you again my friends, I will see you in two weeks, and as always, stay true.